From giant centipedes to new vipers, here are your top 10 newly discovered species we need to be very concerned about. In our number 10 spot, we have the giant centipede. Honestly, I think the title says it all. It is a giant centipede. Just saying that makes me want to crawl under my covers and hide from the world, let's be real. The idea that there's creepy centipedes out there in general makes me feel uncomfortable, let alone giant ones. No thanks. Hey, creator of the planet, could we just have done without this one, I don't know. <laughs> Get back to me later. This new giant version was discovered near Japan and Taiwan in 2021 in the Ryukyu Islands. It was about 20 centimeters long and two centimeters thick. It apparently has a bit of an amphibious nature as it lives on land and in water. Yeah, I'm making no plans to ever go to that island. If you're enjoying this video so far, smash that subscribe button so you can know when we post a new video. In our number nine spot, we have the Mountain Fur de Lance. The Mountain Fur de Lance is the newest addition to the Viper family discovered in the jungle mountains in Zongo Valley in Bolivia. Honestly, the fact that in 2020 we discovered another Viper snake makes me wonder what kind of terrifying creature we will discover next. These snakes have excellent camouflage and are usually found lying around the forest floor, often in piles of leaves. They have these heat sensors that help them sense their prey. They are extremely venomous, as you can imagine, so you probably are best to stay clear of Zongo Valley, or all rainforests for that matter. Just joking, just be careful. In our number eight spot, we have the pig snout brittle sea star. Okay, as creepy as this new discovery is, the pig snout brittle sea star has actually been hiding deep in the ocean at 200 feet for a long time as a living fossil from the Jurassic period. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It was discovered in 2015 in a barrel and it was collected also in 2011 in Bank Durand in the South Pacific. Why the name though? Well, it was given this name because of its eight long arms that look like many pig snouts snapped together. Just gross. Its underside apparently is filled with bristly, thorny teeth. So basically, it's a bunch of pig-like arms with creepy teeth on one side. Excuse me as I may go puke at the thought of this. In our number seven spot, we have Eriovixia griffindori. A new spider has been discovered and all of us that would rather spiders did not roam the earth are not happy about it. But the only somewhat pleasurable thing about this spider is the fact that it was given a name based off of Harry Potter. Why does this make me like it and want to accept it? I don't know. The Eriovixia griffindori was given an HP sounding name due to the fact that it looks like the sorting hat from the movie, and the people who discovered it are extremely cool, obviously. The spider has a very weird shaped body that arises from a very wide base and ends to a bent peak. The body is covered with tiny yellow and white hairs. I bet Ron Weasley would not be too thrilled to hear how a new spider has been discovered. God, I love him. Best HB character by far. Never mind, I take that back. Hermione's better. <laughs> In our number six spot, we have the Potomatrigon Rex. No, not a T-Rex or a dinosaur, even though it would be pretty awesome if we discovered a dinosaur existing. On second thought, if the Jurassic Park movies have taught us anything, it's never a good idea to bring back dinos. This new species is also known as the Great River Stingray, and it is a freshwater stingray. It was discovered recently in 2016 from the middle and upper Rio Tocantins in Brazil. It is a dark brownish blackish color and has small yellow spots on it. It is quite large and can weigh up to 44 pounds. It has gained the title of King of Freshwater in this Brazilian river and cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Pretty cool. In our number five spot, we have the Scolopendra cataracta. Yep, that's a mouthful of a name. <laughs> this newly discovered centipede species was found in Thailand and Vietnam. Honestly, creator, I ask you again, why another one? Could you not make another version of a dog for us to discover, you know, or a cat, or basically anything that doesn't have more than four legs? Apparently, this centipede was named cataracta because that is the name of the waterfall that it was found in. It's apparently eight inches long and has 20 pairs of legs. <sighs> Creepy. In our number four spot, we have the Fidel 
Drogon. Named after the dragons from a Game of Thrones. I'm not joking. This ant, yes, you heard me, ant, has some appropriate characteristics that would lead to it being given this name. Honestly, when I was a kid, I loved ants. I was constantly observing them because, well, I don't know why. I was weird, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, adult me gets the creeps when I think of them. So the fact that there is an ant out there that has a strange resemblance to a dragon, nah. I'm out. <laughs> Why is this real? This new ant species was discovered in Papua New Guinea. They have spiny barbs along their backs and shoulders that protect them against predators. Apparently they have muscles beneath the spiny barbs that are there to help the ants hold up their oversized heads. I honestly need this. My shoulders can barely hold up my hand. Their heads are packed with muscles to help them lift heavy and large objects. I have no excuse because I just have a big head, so. In our number three spot, we have the Exino Turbella Chiro. Okay, we most likely don't have to be too concerned about this one, but it deserved an honorable mention for looking like a churro. Nom, 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 nom. If you've never had a churro, it's a doughy pastry that is just delish. Would recommend. Anyways, of course this new species was given its name because it looks like a churro. It is a sea creature that was found in the eastern Pacific Ocean. It falls within a worm-like animal category, similar to a jellyfish, but it doesn't have tentacles and a few other jellyfish characteristics. It is a pinky purple color and apparently it is food for the mollusk. In our number two spot, we have the ringed Sicilian. Technically, this snake was discovered about two centuries ago, but only recently it was actually discovered that it has oral venomous glands and so it basically feels like we're getting to know this creature for the very first time. We're getting newly acquainted and forevermore we shall be way more cautious. This snake is black with rings around it and honestly it looks like it's straight out of a futuristic post-apocalyptic world movie. When these snakes are born, fun fact, apparently they feast on their mother's outer layer of skin with 44 teeth. So basically they are vampire snakes. <laughs> this is terrifying. Apparently then the mother takes a few days to regrow her outer layer of skin back. Nice. In our number one spot, we have the Gracilimus radix. This is a new species of wild rodent that was discovered in a mountainous area in Indonesia. It's a rat. Its scientific name is the Sulawesi root rat. Yeah, gross. It is known to weigh up to about 40 grams, but like I said, it's a mountain rat, so it is found at an elevation of 1,600 meters. Apparently, it is one of four rats that have recently been discovered and hopefully one of the last. Am I right? Who agrees? I'm Melissa Mladi, your host. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Mladi, and as always, have a good day, sir.